Japan has long been using artificial reefs to try to promote marine life and control erosion. But their components often mean they fail to attract coral. Now it's hoped this new type of artificial reef made with a 3D printer using local materials could change all that. They're currently being tested in pilot programs in the UK, Bahrain and Oman. Enrico Dini is the brains behind the D-shaped printer. We have seen an artificial reef. An artificial reef in the sense that is a shape with particular features, with a particular geometry, very complex, that would be impossible to, to, to manufacture with other technology. And those features uh, has, has been conceived to enhance ecologically the fishery population. Gradually, layer by layer, the printer mixes sand with seawater and a magnesium-based binder to create the stone-like objects. The idea is to mine the seabed and take the binders and the sand exactly from the place where we are going to place our object. Artificial reefs are often made of different types of concrete, failing to attract coral which needs a certain type of algae to colonize it. It remains to be seen whether these reefs composed of locally sourced sand will successfully attract coral. 3D printing is kind of agnostic to complexity, so it's easy to make complex things. And I think for people that want to replicate nature in any way, um, it's a huge, huge boon to those folks. It's a brand new tool that they've never had before. While the technology is a promising first step in the fight to restore reef habitats, ocean experts say the focus must remain on replenishing natural corals, which some fish species are dependent on for foraging and raising their young.